Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. He's so friendly. Um, you always ask cyclists, check on them. My first ODAX this year, 200K, is at the end of March. And so I've got to start ramping up my mileage so I can get used to those distances. Right now my legs are comfortable up until 80K. Then they start getting a bit tired and achy. Uh, I can go further than that, but that's what's easy for me right now. So I just want to push that so that I can do 150 easily, <laughs> at least by the end of March. Just about get accumulating the miles on my legs and uh, going for longer rides now. But as the weather is starting to get nicer and the days are longer, that's why this is the time of year I start ramping up my miles. I recommend adding about 10 to 20% each ride as you try to go further and further. Um, see how your leg, if 20% is too much, if your legs don't react well, then you know, try a little less next time. So that's sort of how I, I go about it, just ramping up each ride about 20% in the mileage as I have one long ride a week. Friday, Nathan has off and it's 15 degrees forecast. So we're hopefully gonna go on a nice long ride and I have the No Gods, No Musters ride uh, in Bristol here this Sunday. So that's a little bit more mileage. That's actually gonna be some good climbing on that ride for my legs. So yeah, just get waking them up basically from winter hibernation. Bugs, bugs are mine, it's that time of year. Seeds, bugs, I don't know, everything. Two other tips I can give you for long distance riding and endurance training is uh, to spend as many hours in the saddle as possible. So it's about going longer distances, but it's also about those hours in the saddle and getting your body used to sitting in the saddle and, you know, building up those bones of steel and uh, getting your shoulders and all of that used to that those hours in the saddle that it takes to go long distance. Um, so some rides you don't have to go far, but if you can build up that time, that's also useful. The other tip I can give you is um, if you practice eating while you ride, that means you'll have to stop less. You'll see some people will have cockpit bags or top tube bags, so that's just to get easy access to food. I keep um, minstrels and wine gums in there just so I can nibble away as I ride because the less stopping you do, obviously the better time you can make. And um, so that's all part of endurance riding, getting used to eating while you ride, uh, hours in the saddle, and then you can build up your pace um, and try to do better times and things. But it's, you know, practicing each one of those things and building on each one of those things. So as usual, pretty simple. I like to keep things simple, you know that. So build up your time in the saddle, build up your mileage and have fun. You're gonna be out there for a lot of hours, so make the most of it, have fun. Uh, change it up, try different routes, maybe go away for the weekend and um, try new roads for new scenery. You'll, you'll be on your bike a lot, so try to keep it fun and that will keep it interesting. Very last thing I wanted to mention in this video for you is recovery. So when you get back from a long ride, Treat yourself to a bath, a nice soak with some Epsom salts, maybe some essential oils. You deserve it and your muscles recovery are very important. Other things you can do to assist in the recovery, and I'll do a full video on this soon, but um, make sure you have a nice meal that day with lots of protein. If you happen to have protein shakes, get one in you in the first 30 minutes is recommended for the best um, efficiency of absorption of the pro, uh, protein. Foam rollers, massage, soak in the bath, all of that is all the, you know, is part of it. It makes it more enjoyable and it makes your recovery um, that much better. So remember, get out there, have fun and enjoy your ride guys. As I'm on my journey to super randonneur status, I'll be sharing that journey with you. So hopefully you'll find that interesting and, and learn about endurance riding through that. So uh, yeah, subscribe, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.